Let me ask you a question. Do you pay taxes each year? I'm sure you answered yes. Here's another question. Do you have any idea how much you're going to pay this year? Unfortunately, most people don't. And it's for this reason, more than likely, you rely on your accountant to figure out what you owe the good old IRS. Now, if this sounds like how you're currently operating, then think about these two things. So over the entire course of your career, I can guarantee you without a doubt that you're going to pay hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in excess taxes or more that really you shouldn't be paying in the first place. All right. That's number one. And number two, you're setting yourself up for tons of financial stress that could easily be avoided with just a little bit of education, just like you're doing now, educating yourself, watching this video. And this is what I'm going to share with you today, how to legally not pay any taxes, which a lot of this information I got from my good friend, CPA friend, actually, Tom Wilwright, author of Tax-Free Wealth. And this book, Tax-Free Wealth, is what many of you and you know many people start this journey of, hey, they realize, hey, I've got this issue with my taxes that I didn't know about, because as you know, you don't know what you don't know. And then they start down the path of, okay, well, how can I figure out how to legally pay as, as least amount of taxes as possible? Uh, legal, legal disclaimer, I am not a CPA, I'm a periodontist. So uh, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. All I'm doing is basically transferring information that I've learned from reading books, podcasts, et cetera. And what I've done personally, transform me to you. All right, let's get going. So if you want to take control of your financial f future, then you must obtain really sort of a basic foundation of how the tax law works. Um, I'm not talking about going out and getting an accounting degree or anything like that, but you need to have a, a you know, a sort of a basic level of, of what's going on. Okay. Now, if you give up total control over your entire career to your financial advisor your accountant or whoever without having this basic understanding of what they're doing regarding your own personal situation, then their decisions could have a huge, huge impact on your finances. Okay. So as a high income earner, basically your biggest expense by far is going to be taxes. Question. How much do you really know about the U.S. tax code? Do you have a, a team in place to support you to, to assist with this uh, expense, to your largest expense? If not, well, here's a, a great resource, and this we're going to be talking about today, that CPA Tom Wheelwright, he's actually part of Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Advisors, and this book and this guy can really help you if this sounds like your situation. Actually, Proverbs 15.22 states that plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. So the, the more success that you want, the more that you need to surround yourself with people that can help you. All right. One of the most profound concepts that we've talked about before in previous videos that has changed so many people, so many people's thinking about how they earn money is something called the, the cash flow quadrant, which I've actually written right here. And it was originally discussed in Robert Kiyosaki's The Cash Flow Quadrant book. And before I read the book, I thought I had it going on being a self-employed doctor because I own my own business. Nobody tells me what to do. I'm the one that hires and fires and all that kind of stuff. So that that's sort of the, you know, the, the goal of, of a lot of people back then. I know now you, you get out and it's very, very hard to start a practice. You join a group, but, and, and you're an employee, but as a self-employed person, 
that that's usually you know starting a business that's usually considered quote the american dream right okay so you must have realized my disappointment when i found out that actually being self-employed wasn't good at all it's actually being self-employed puts us on the quote poor side of this cash flow quadrant so this being the employee, all right, and then you have the self-employed. This is the poor side of the quadrant. And these four quadrants, they actually explain the different career paths based on the current tax system. So, it, so having this, it, it shows how the U.S. tax law is actually how it's been set up and how various professionals, such as myself, we actually view the world, all right? So if you wanna really decrease your taxable income, then understanding this quadrant, the employees, the self-employed, the big business owner and the investor, once you understand how this works, that's when things really start to happen. So even though probably you, I mean, you're watching this, more than likely you're a high income earner, um, myself, other people, even though we earn a good income, most of us are still going to fall on this left side of the category because this is, this category is this side is actually taxed the highest versus the right side. It's not. Okay. So we pay the highest percentage of taxes, even though we were business owners, you know, we're self-employed. And the reason that we do this, myself included, is we don't understand the tax strategies that the ultra rich focus on. And I know there's been a lot of things in the news lately. I think the ProPublica website where they actually had gotten a hold of several billionaires uh, tax, um, uh, tax forms, uh, tax uh, and what they found was really startling how little tax that they pay. And once you understand this again, you'll figure out how they do it. And it's very replicable. So the, what we need to really focus on is this right side, this rich side, instead of always focusing on, which again, it pays the least amount of taxes. So, this whole, this right side is really where the concept of passive income comes into play because we don't have to physically be present to order a paycheck. How nice would that be? But unfortunately, most doctors and other high income earners, they never, you know, we never shift over to this right side. And by staying on this left side, our whole entire careers, that's really what we're seeing is really leading up to burnout a lot. Now with passive income, you're actually able to leverage people and money to build massive amounts of wealth while you're doing what you want to do, you know, traveling or whatever. You're literally, you're making money while you sleep. And I know we hear this a lot and it's thrown out there a lot, but I can attest now that I've started to, to grow multiple different passive income streams. It's really nice. Now, let me ask you, which side of the quadrant would you rather end up on? All right. So I wanted to take a, two important rules from the tax-free wealth book and go over that with you. But first, just a very, very brief uh, history lesson that I got from the book. And Tom Will Wright, the author, he actually stated that one of the judges that served on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit the guy's name was Judge Learned Hand. Yes, that was his real name. He once said this, and actually I wrote it down so I don't uh, mess up anything. He states, anyone may so arrange his affairs so that his taxes shall be as low as possible. He is not bound to choose that pattern which will best pay the U S treasury. There is not even a patriotic duty 
to increase one's taxes. So think about this. This, this goes against what we are typically when we were brought up in the, through the educational system. This, is, this goes against everything that we've been taught you know, about what defines success. So think about if you're at a cocktail party and you may hear this conversation, you've got, let's call them Dr. T and Dr. C. Okay. So Dr. T goes up to Dr. T and says, you know, this, this is a, a Christmas party. Okay. The end of the year, and Dr. T says, man, we just had a fantastic year in our practice. I paid over $300,000 in taxes. I guess you got to make money to pay big taxes, right? And then Dr. C says, yeah, that's what I've heard too. If you're not paying a lot in taxes, then obviously you're not making much money. Sound familiar? Now, you've got to hand it to them. The government does a great job training us coming up to believe that somehow we owe them money no matter what. Okay, so so because of all this and how we've been brought up and what we've been integrated into our brains, I want to talk very briefly about the, the two main rules that I got out of the book. Okay, so two important rules from the book, Tax Free Wealth. Rule number one, we want to focus on passive income. Just like we stated it before, if you're on the right side of the quadrant, you're getting most of your money to pay your bills, et cetera, to live on via passive income. Passive income is unearned income. It is taxed the least. Whereas your earned income from your practice, you know, from, from here treating patients, that earned income is the highest taxed. So we want to focus on mailbox money, passive income. Now, I understand that there's a portion of our taxes in the U.S. that needs to go to Uncle Sam to help pay for infrastructure, roads, bridges, libraries, schools, military, of course. But ultimately, what it boils down to is when you get your check, it's your money and not theirs. Now, rich people have a very, very low tax burden because, again, they don't earn their money like most people do. They know that the best way to legally avoid taxes is by generating what we just talked about in rule number one, passive income on the right side of the quadrant. Okay. So remember, passive income is taxed at a, at a lower rate. And it's also a result of people taking their money, their earned income and investing it in cash flowing assets that produce the passive income. So you're not selling your time as an employee, you're not selling your time. I'm not selling my time as a self-employed person. All right. It's too bad. We didn't, we don't get taught this in school, right? That's rule number one. Rule number two is this. And most people, including myself, until I started learning this from the book and other resources did not realize that the tax law is written to lower your taxes. Let me state that again. The U.S. tax law is written to lower your taxes. So in the book, Will Wright actually states that the IRS has written this tax code in a way to actually save us, save you, the taxpayer money. That's right. He actually states, and I'm sure it's probably more than this now, but as of uh, writing of the book, that the current tax code actually contains over 5,800 pages in it, but only 30 pages address how to pay taxes. So what this means is that the IRS has dedicated 99.5% or over 5,770 pages to avoiding taxes. Did you know that? I'm going to be honest. I didn't know it either. That now do you kind of see how we need to have a, we don't need to know everything, but we need to have a basic understanding, a basic overview of how the tax system works in order to set yourself up for success. Okay. So the government actually encourages Americans to start businesses, 
and invest in real estate, okay, they want, in this tax code, they want us to start businesses, small businesses, and invest in real estate to, to provide affordable housing. So by not taking advantage of these deductions, you're literally robbing yourself and your financial future. Who gets the breaks? Well, the entrepreneurs and the investors get the breaks, right? The people, people on the right side get the breaks. I'll admit, when I first started, you know, reading about the how the wealth avoid taxes, this and that, I was very skeptical, especially, you know, the billionaires, you know, Buffett, Bezos, Trump, uh, Musk, all of them. They were talking about how they pay little to no taxes each year. Again, I was skeptical. And when when people start talking about this, you know, the, the general public, they typically start to complain that business people, you know, get an unfair advantage because if if they knew the rules that the, the ultra rich did, they played by them too. But I'm telling you, literally anyone can figure this stuff out. Anyone can find this out. Anyone can start a business and start receiving the tax benefits provided by our tax code. And in the book, Will Wright talks about some of the most generous tax incentives are given to rental property owners. And it's a fantastic way not only to generate income, but to build tremendous amounts of wealth. And at the same time, what are you doing? You are lowering your taxes. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. If you want to keep going to work, trading time for money, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you an option. Okay, so why does the why does the right side of the quadrant, the business owners, the entrepreneurs, investors, why do they pay much less taxes than 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 the left side? Again, the the Will Wright talks about the government wants to ultimately create more jobs and provide housing. Very, very simple. Okay, that's the bottom line. That's that's what they want. And who does this? The entrepreneurs, again, they get the tax breaks because they provide the jobs. Real estate investors, they get the tax breaks. They get the benefits because they provide the housing. They're basically giving them, they're giving the IRS what they want. So whenever we hear that the IRS is making tax law changes, typically doctors and high income earners, we're all excited. And then we start looking at the, the changes and most of us aren't even on the receiving end. And when tax breaks are put in for business entities and investors, the right side Rarely, again, do the people on the left side, including the self-employed doctors, self-employed business owners, attorneys, whatever, get to take advantage of it. So my focus for you is this. Do everything that you can to getting from the left, if that's where you are now, to the right side of the quadrant. And actually, most of us, you know, myself included back then, we actually dread, you know, any changes that came out because you Usually what happens, changes to the tax law, that means we have to pay more taxes. That's usually the case if you're on the left side, but it doesn't have to be that way. And whether you go with uh, Tom Wilwright and his group or whatever, if you find a good accountant, the, the ones that are really dedicated, you know, they, they focus on and that, that's what they've dedicated their careers to, teaching us ways, at least your accountant should, to paying the least amount of taxes legally. So once you read this book, it really should open your eyes of how to better understand the benefits of having, of having a good overall knowledge of the tax law and how those returns are the single biggest thing that's going to accelerate you towards financial freedom. If you, you're not really sure about earned income, unearned income, financial freedom, passive income, whatever, I suggest for you to go to my website, debtfreedr.com, and I have a free passive income guide that you can download it's right there on the homepage. Or if you want to go directly to it, debtfreedr.com 
forward slash free guide. Take care.